So paragraph six, some weather maps also have curved lines called isobars and isotherms. We'll take a look at those in just a moment, but I do want you to note the roots of these words, therm and bar. And we know that a thermometer is used to measure temperature and that a barometer is used to measure air pressure and this would be in degrees Celsius and this would be in millibars actually of mercury and we'll have you worry about that but it would be milligrams it would be millibars of mercury. But do you see those words, those roots in those two words? So isobars connect areas on the map that are having the same air pressure and isotherms connect areas on a weather map that have the same temperature. Let's just take a green marker right now and we'll just kind of tag those. So iso, isobars these are areas that have the same pressure and isotherms. These are areas that have the same temperature, areas on a map that have the same temperature. And let's look at a couple of these maps briefly, uh, and then we'll be finished with this reading. So in this diagram, we're taking a look at a weather map that has isobar contours. And um, these isobar contours are simply these lines that show the air pressure readings in air masses. We have a couple of low pressure air masses. You'll notice that the air pressures are dropping as we read towards the center of the low pressure air masses. And then we have some air pressure readings where the air pressures are rising as we move towards a high pressure air mass. And this is characteristic of how we understand isobars. They are readings that show air pressure within an air mass take a look at isotherms. So isotherms do the same thing but with temperatures and you can see we have a, a several readings of temperatures on this map and each of these isotherm lines shows generally how the temperatures are being recorded and how the data for temperatures are being uh, collected and what we're seeing in a region or in a larger area like the country with what's happening with temperatures. So isotherms, isobars are important weather indicators and uh, weather symbols on weather maps and please make sure you have some understanding of isotherms and isobar contour lines.